In Onshape, there is an easily overlooked button if you want to insert sketches along with your part studios into an assembly. Let me show you the situation. Here I have a part studio. I have an imported gear model. I will make this gear model available in the Dropbox on my website if you want to play around with it yourself. I've added a sketch to this part studio so I can visualize the pitch diameter to make sure when I build a rack and pinion later on that my pitch circles line up. Now let's go over to the assembly. It already contains one part from one of my other part studios for holding the pinion of the rack and pinion. Let's say I want to insert that component into my assembly. I'll go to the insert button and I'll show in my current part studio I've got the original holder, I've got the helix part, the spur helix, and the rack. Let me grab this component, and you can see the preview locating it at the origin. I will hit the check mark, and it's brought into my assembly. Let me click on it, and I'm just going to move it away, and then rotate it so that we can take a look at it. And so it brought in the part, but I can't see that sketch that helps me visualize the pitch circle. So let's try again. I'm going to take that part that I brought in and I'm going to delete it. And this time when I go to insert it, I'm also going to check this button over here. This allows you to import sketches as well as other different objects. And you might even have some other different buttons available to you depending on what's in your part studios, like a button for composite parts. But anyhow, I'm going to show in here that we have our pinion spur helix part, and it also has the sketch there. I am going to select it, and it's going to drop it in at the origin. Let me hit the check mark, and it's located in the model. Let's zoom in over here, and I'm going to rotate so you can see that we have the part and its sketch. But here's the thing, let me click on the part and then I'll go to drag it and I'll move it up here. And actually I got the sketch that time when I was trying to move it. Let me hit the undo button. This time I'll make sure I click firmly on the part itself. And that way when I go to drag it, you'll see that the part dragged, but the sketch did not. And so when you bring in sketches along with parts from part studios, they are going to come in as separate entities. Let me hit the undo button to show you how you can handle that. And there are two different ways. I'm going to click on this to move it. And let me also just pick on the sketch right out of the tree, just so I can move both objects at the same time. I am deliberately moving them away from the origin because I want to take these two components and basically put them together so that they move with one another. One way that you can do that is with a fastened mate. So I'll click on the fastened mate and for the different mate connectors, I will select this mate connector and that's the mate connector of the sketch. And for the other one, let me pick over here. I got the mate connector of the spur helix. That's good. I will hit the check mark. So now if I go to move one of the objects, I just clicked on the part itself. The sketch is moving along with it. Okay, that's great for the first part that I am inserting. Let me show you the other part that I want to bring in here. And this is the rack part of the rack and helix. Like the pinion, I also have a sketch in here that I use as a visual reference for the pitch circle so I can make sure that the components line up. Well, let's go back over to the assembly. I will go to the insert button and let me click on the button for sketches to make sure that it is active as well. And I will select the rack this time and just make things a little easier. I'm just going to move it out of the way just to begin with. Uh, rather than just locating, locating it at the origin. And so when I zoom in over here, we can see the part and its sketch. Once again, if I pick on, say, the part and go to move it, the sketch does not go along with it. So let's hit the undo button to get them back positioned correctly. Instead of using a fastened mate, the other way to get them to move together is by using the group command. So I'll choose group. And for the things I want to group, well, here I got the sketch. Let me get the part as well. I will hit the check mark. 
And now when I click on one of the objects to move it, let me find out where the little drag is. I move one and the other moves along with it. So that way you can get your sketches to come along with you when you are inserting different objects. Now let me move these components where I want so I can show you the benefit of having these sketches come along with them. For the pinion component, I am going to use a Revolute Mate. So for the Mate connectors I want to use, let me move my mouse over here and grab the Mate connector for that part. And then for the other one, let me sort of like rotate down to the bottom and I just want to get there that surface and for this one I don't want it right in coincident with one another I'm going to put in a little bit of an offset and the offset in the Z direction let me try value of 10 that's ah, too much let's change that to a value of 5 that's good I like that so I will hit the check mark so now I've got my first component located where I want it to be for the rack, I am going to use a slider mate. And here is the slider mate. And so I will grab, oh, come here, let's get it facing the right direction. That mate connector there. And then go down over here and grab that mate connector. And it looks good. Let me hit the check mark for completing the slider. And I'm going to change it over to the front view. And that way, by having the sketches, I can see that, yes, my pitch circles line up. So that's why you might want to bring in sketches along with your parts into assemblies.